What's up guys, Joy94 today showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone um, 4 with iOS 5. Now this will not work for the newest iPhone, the iPhone 4S, it won't work for that. But it will work for all the other ones like iPhone 4, AT&T, and Verizon, uh, the uh, 3GS, the iPod 4th and 3rd gen, and also the iPad 1. Now, by the way, we're getting these links from everything Apple Pro, his YouTube will be in the description. He makes awesome jailbreak videos. I love his videos, so thank you. And if I do screw anything up, it's because I'm making this video. I literally watched I watched this video that he made, and I'm gonna just basically try to remember everything and just do it right now. So, anyways, you're gonna go to here, and if you have Windows, obviously download the Windows Red Snow. If you have um, if you have um, 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 um Mac, then download the Mac one. If you have Verizon Wireless, then download the iPhone 4 CDMA 5.0. If you have or AT&T download the GSM and then obviously you can read these are what you if you have the third gen 3GS download that the first gen iPad download that the first or fourth gen touch down like that that and third gen touch download that now these downloads might take a little while so make sure you have some time after that you can put this down and make sure your iPhone is connected um by the way before you do any of this you're going to probably want to sync your iPad or iPhone or whatever the hell you got just so um, so it is backed up. So you're gonna go to Redstone and click Run as Admin Administrator. Now, by the way, this is tethered, um, so it means if your phone dies or whatever, you're gonna have to uh, boot it or sync it back up to here, which I'll show you how to do. But we're also gonna do a semi untethered thing after Insidia, which I don't know if it's gonna be a separate video or not. So what you're gonna want to do is gonna go to extras and um, select ISPW or IPSW where the fuck word that is go to wherever you saved it to I saved mine on my desktop and go to it Click open. Click OK. Click back. And hit jailbreak. Now, by the way, shout out to my friend Mike from fucking school. He always asks me to give him a shout out. I don't know his YouTube name. I don't give a shit about his YouTube name, honestly. But, alright, Mike, so there you go. So. Just make sure that's checked off. Hit next, next, and then make sure you put it in DFU mode. Now I'll have a link to a video that put it in DF mode, DFU mode. Basically, what you're gonna want to do is hold your home screen and your lock screen for about ten to seven seconds. So. Then let go of the um lock screen and hold that for about 15 seconds and then let go and hit next oh shit and then go back okay Hold on a minute, guys. So follow these steps. So hold them both for about 10 seconds, the uh, power and the home. Now let go of the uh, power and just hold the home screen button. And like I said, this is what I mean by screwing up. I'm not good with jailbreak. Okay. So now it's going to do it, and then just set your phone down and let it do its work. By the way, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate it a lot. Um, so yeah, I really like it, and obviously I'm going to do something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might do like an open lobby. I might do a video where I just let you guys... Uh, I don't even know. I'll figure something out. And by the way, um, if you guys want to 
know how to get Sony Vegas Pro 11, leave me a comment and I'll probably do a tutorial for that. So, um, yeah, this might take a while, so I am going to pause this video and I will be back once it's done jailbreaking. Okay. Alright, guys, just a quick thing. Right now, my phone, um, don't have a way to take a picture of it. It says, download and jailbreak data with a picture of a, um, hard drive with a arrow. Now it's running scripts, which, don't get scared when it does this, guys. Okay? Because it's supposed to do it. It's just gonna have a whole bunch of, like, black shit. And this is basically what your phone does when you're not, when you're running, like, just an app. Like, when you open Angry Birds and the background's really running all these scripts. So don't get worried when your phone turns to a black screen and has all this white writing scrolling up. Your phone is not broken or anything. But um, yeah. <sighs> and by the way, if this ever fucks your phone up or you have any problems with it, all you have to do to fix it is just sync it into your iTunes and hit restore to factory default, and it will wipe wipe everything and reinstall everything. Make sure everything's backed up onto it. And that's why I told you guys to back up everything before you did this and for all you guys that want to know jailbreaking is 100 percent legal it's safe it doesn't hurt your phone doesn't slow it down you're not gonna get extra bills for it none of that kind of shit none of that will happen it's all legal it's all good to do so you don't have to worry about any of that so like I said just let your phone do what it has to do and it should be good I'm going to be right back. I'm going to pause it again. And I will be back in a minute. Okay, another thing I'll tell you guys, sorry, that I keep cutting in and out. Like, there's an eye that hurt. I had to cut my arm from this piece of shit had metal, like a spring from my couch that I sleep on. Like, sticking out of my, the crack of my couch, and I slept on it, and my arm got it and cut me, but I didn't just scrape that scrab, scab. Anyways, another thing you're going to know how you're doing it right is that your phone will show a picture of a pineapple with a little bite took taken out of it, a headband, black legs, and running shoes. And it will say moving applications and all that good shit. So if all this stuff is looking familiar to you guys and you're doing this right so far, and again, I'm going to pause it and I will be back. Okay, so now once you're done with the jailbreak, you're going to open your device and you will see the, the name Cydia and the app. And the icon will just be white and if you click on it, it will just crash. It won't do anything. So what you're going to do is have your thing plugged in again. And sorry, my camera is weird. Like, I can't, I record videos with it, right? And then when I try to put it on my computer and I transfer it to a USB so I can put it on my laptop, it doesn't do anything. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the full file won't come to from the laptop or from the uh, thing to the laptop. So I have to figure that out. But anyways, um, so go to select IPSW again and choose the thing you just chose last time. So there's mine. Hit open. Hit OK, and then hit Just Boot. And then we're going to have to put it in DFU mode again. So, hit Next, hold this, then hold both. I'll go with the Power button. And just keep holding the home button. I think I'm going to get DFU for the first mm -hmm. time. And there you go. And let it run its course here. And once it's done doing this, then your device will be all set. And I will have a video coming out after this. I'm not going to make the same video, I don't think. And if I do, obviously you'll see it. But there's a way to do this semi-untethered, which means when you reboot it, it won't have to be synced. It'll still have to be synced up. Well, it, you can still text and all that kind of stuff, but you won't be able to use the email, Safari, or forgot the other thing, the App Store, I think, or something like that. Oh, Cydia. Cydia won't work. By the way, once this, there you go. It's done. It's showing a pineapple on my screen. Um, it's not the same pineapple as four. It's a smaller one. And this, by the way, get. Don't worry about that. It just says that whenever I record. And it's because the iPad or iPhone keeps syncing and or connecting and unconnecting really quick because of the jailbreak. So just ignore that. Windows is slow because I am sure you it's not slow at all. It's fine. But anyways, um, yeah. So I'll wait until this boots up. I'm gonna pause the video. Hold on a second. Okay, guys. Now it is done. I am looking at Cydia right now. So um, 
if the video if this video does not have the part where it's showing you how to semi untether it um then there will be an annotation eventually someplace in the video probably right around here area uh showing of how to do that so i will see you guys next time hope you guys like this video please remember to thumbs up and subscribe and when there is an untethered jailbreak i'll be sure to do a video for that too okay